the latest from Earth Now. This display shows the NOAA Climate Digest for May 2013. The Climate Digest summarizes noteworthy statistics for the month, season, and year. The average global land and ocean temperature for May tied with 1998 and 2005 is the third warmest May since records began in 1880. Portions of Western Europe experienced below average temperatures throughout May, with France experiencing its second coldest May on record. Although the preliminary count was below average, the United States experienced an active period of tornadoes throughout late May. Several large and powerful tornadoes struck populated areas, resulting in devastating damages and loss of life. Now, we'll turn to the Arctic Sea Ice Extent. May ice extent for the Arctic was 2.2% below the 1981 to 2010 average. This makes it the 10th smallest ice extent on record for the month of May. Finally, we'll move to Antarctica and discover that its sea ice extent was 6.3% above the 1981 to 2010 average, making it the fifth largest May ice extent on record. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from average. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal temperatures, whereas red colors indicate warmer than normal temperatures. White indicates near average conditions. We'll take a look at three areas. First, we can see the deep blue colors over much of western Greenland, indicating record-breaking below average temperatures. Western Europe also experienced below average temperatures throughout May. At the South Pole in Antarctica, the average May temperature was negative 80.3 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 8.1 degrees Fahrenheit below average. The minimum temperature record was broken twice at this station throughout the month. As shown by the red portions of the map, several regions around the world experienced record warmth. Norway, for example, observed one of its warmest Mays in the country's 113-year period of record. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, whereas red indicates warmer than normal temperatures. In the eastern tropical Pacific, water temperatures hovered around average, meaning that no El Nino or La Nina conditions were present. The Climate Prediction Center expects this to continue through at least the Northern Hemisphere summer. Also, the Atlantic hurricane season just started on the 1st of June, and it should be noted that the water temperatures in the main tropical development region were above normal for May, creating ideal conditions for an active hurricane season. This real-time data set collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. And that's your May 2013 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.